What's up everybody, it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I'm just gonna delve into um, bronze pack method, a bit of trading, and you know, um, what I've found from the game. Um, I've got my hat on because I'm just gonna nip out, up to the shop, get ready for the Sunday dinner. Um, but for the time being, I thought um, I'd do this video for you and what's going on. So bronze pack method, is it profitable? I mean, obviously if you watch any of my videos um, from last year, you'll know that I made quite a lot of coins and i'm up to two million coins this year i've probably wasted about a million coins throughout the year um and i'm saving it all for uh, hopefully either a ronaldinho sbc or i want to buy the player down the line so um i've tried a couple of things with trading uh some better than others but i've not gone hard at it until this last weekend so it's all about capitalizing uh, with the bronze pack method now last year like i say a lot of coins to be made you can make a constant turnover this year you have to do a bit more work with it um so on friday just gone on the team of the season i was at 1.1 million coins um so i've made a million coins between then and now have i made all that from bronze packs no um i'm not gonna lie i pulled from one gold pack i pulled the i think 7.5k gold pack i just had seven like say if i had 1.1 million i had 7500 coins and or something along those lines and i just bought one seven and a half k pack and i pulled the man city defender from future stars buying him straight on the market for about seven hundred thousand coins um so that took me to about 1.8 million i'm now at 2.1 uh so i've still made about 300,000 coins um from bronze pack method over since friday we're on sunday morning now so it's still good now that's not to say that's the case every day um it's been boosted this week through an sbc that got dropped there was uh, i don't know if we can find it uh where are we it's completed i think it might have been this one uh where you didn't need a full team of silvers or gold you could do it with bronze team so it, it's boosted the price of bronzes they're starting to come down a little bit but it's been helpful uh i've been doing bronze pack methods since the beginning as i say i mean my coins i, I don't do any big trading like the biggest pull i've had is that future stars player that chucked me seven hundred thousand coins in rest it here i've not done anything special every other coins you've come from natural gameplay possession uh players i mean they're a bit dry at the minute i've got 600 players i've got a lot of loans and the reason i've got a lot of loans is managerial masterpiece and icon swaps and things it's just a no-brainer to keep them uh i've got most of my high rates everything else has gone into um sbcs and i think even on the untradeable side now nah, i've got a lot of sbc players which all i've, I've done them all all these SBCs I've done from free. Like I've saved every gold player that I have pulled. Whereas last year I was chucking all them on the market. As soon as I got them, if I got my uh, rewards from uh, squad battles, they'd be straight on the market. Just getting that coins, you know, them coins up. Uh, this year I've not. I've saved every single player I've got, and. Um, Oops, get rid of these i've saved every single player that i've got and then i've used them in the relative sbc so i'm not spending my coins my coins are there just if i need that little bit of a player um or there's somebody great on the market that i can pop in my team until i can get an untradeable variant so that's how i've done it this year now bronze pipe we're, we're getting off track we're on a tangent uh let me just relist everything so at the start I was really I was listing everything every single player 200 coins and I found that it weren't fantastic so if you watch one of my videos last year I said about being aggressive and just pull him back on at 200 again 
probably sells for a little bit more. Being aggressive and only listing players that will sell and saving everything else. Um, so I'll start from scratch and I'll tell you how to make coins from the bronze pack method. So there's no clickbaiting or anything. I'm not going to tell you you can earn a million coins in a weekend. However, you can still make coins and you can still improve your club. Now, you'll have noticed on that last realist that I sold some golds on there. So what I did this morning, I watched a video saying how... Um, the 5k pack method was profitable. Uh, I started that at 2 million coins to 2.1 and I've cycled the players. I've cycled packs. I've never dropped before below 2.1 million. I've been doing it for about three hours and as you can see, I'm nowhere. I've not made profit because the gold pack method, 5k pack method, you're not there to make coins in my eyes. It's there to just infinitely cycle a pack you know and, and that does depend on what you pull out of it so i pulled 284 players sold them for about 30k so if i'd have sold it there and cut my losses i'd brilliant and then gone back into bronze pack but it, is, it hasn't so i'm down to the you know call it if we get rid of these figures there i'd look at it that i've got 4681 coins and i've not i went down to just under 2.1 I think I had like 98 and then I've bronze packs my way back up again. So even this morning, for the last hour or so, I've still made that, what, six, 7,000 coins back in bronze pack method. And it's what I'm going to continue to do now. Gold packs are dead to me. So without waffling on too much, because I've already waffled on, I'll show you what to do with your packs, how to make coins, and what you may have overlooked Um Okay, so let's go. I've got 82. So first things first, bronze pack, open. Only the 400 coin packs. Um, and you've got a couple of options now. So straight away out of this pack, I've pulled this chap, which is part of a league SBC. Now I did it with the CSL, and you could pick any league. I'd pick one of the cheaper leagues to do so. Um, Suda cards, um, what else have we got? You've got the Saudi League here and two off-league cards. Okay. So if you want to, you can send pick one club. So in this case, Saudi Saudi League. I'd recommend the CSL because there are so many bronzes and the silvers and golds are cheap as well. As soon as you see one, send it to your club. And then over a, a week or two, you'll have so many players that all you'll have to do is, is just fill in the gaps. You'll be able to do most of it, which turns into more profit. Uh, if you don't want to do that, you can sell it. So this guy, he's, he's 200 coins. That's fine. Now, what you might find is these are not needed. So Turkish players were selling. Now he's not. Now, the reason I won't sell this guy is because if I scroll down to the bottom of my page, yeah, he's only at 30 minutes and he's only selling at 200. Now, while he might sell eventually... He's not worth it in my eyes, so he goes to my club. Okay, American guy, exactly the same. We've done to the bottom page, and there's only there's 14 minutes at 200. He's not selling. So at the minute, I've made 200 coins off this pack. You're like, well, hang on, I did this. You told me this was profitable. Okay, so we're going to go into the next pack, and you'll see the method in my madness. Now, watch we not get any decent packs at all. So again, we check the price. He's not going to sell. Okay. Fantastic. This guy is only an hour. Again, it's only 200 coins, but he will sell. Goalkeepers, I don't even bother sending to my club. You can do. Um, it's worth checking your kits as well. Sometimes you'll get one. I mean, like this one probably will sell. There's only a couple of it. To me, it's not eye catching enough for me to bother with. But So I'm not bother. So at the minute, you're telling me, well, Andy, you've told me. You're making coins on bronze packs. I will make coins off bronze packs, trust me. So we're just going to rinse and repeat this, and I'm just going to do this until... So this guy will sell. We're down to the bottom page. There's a couple all over the place. Again, only um, only 200 coins, but it helps. Uh, keepers, we've got Jean-Claude and Damier. So this guy probably will sell. I always check my keepers. Some will sell, some won't. Uh, Irish players, one thing I would keep your eye on, and we're coming up to St. Patrick's Day in the not-too-distant future. Now, last year, 
I made ridiculous. I think I made nearly half a million in a weekend from bronze pikes just because Irish players went through the roof. So it might be worth holding on to your Irish players. Um, I mean, this guy at the minute, people might have clicked on. So look at that from a from a pack. What's he's telling for? 1,600, 1,400. Don't undercut by pounds. Just put him up to there. I'll undercut by 200 coins. Right? That's made everything back that I've just lost. But people might have already cottoned on the Irish players now. I mean, you were from a league anyway. Um, you might not have even been Irish thinking about it now. There's two flags that look the same. But... It brings me to the point anyway. Maybe worthwhile keeping on Irish. I'm going to feel a bit daft if you do Irish. I'll have to check that. Anyway, we move on. So this guy will sell. Now these have come down a lot. You'd probably sold six, seven hundred coins. Now this guy's definitely Irish. Um, so at the minute, there's not much need for him. Send to my club. Manager. Now, unless he's Brazilian or uh, Dutch. Now, with your pseudo cards, again... I would suggest, I mean, I'm going to sell this guy because I've got him duplicate. I would suggest saving him, and I'll show you why in a minute. I'm just going to get a couple more. I'm just waiting for one other card to pop up. Hopefully, it will. Just so uh, he, he's not going anywhere. So I'd rather, with keepers, I mean, this is a rubbish pack. I've got two keepers and an Australian, so he's probably going to my club. So that one I meant nothing on. Uh, check, your uh, check your kits again. I mean, that may sell. Uh, he's not going anywhere. You can check some of your badges. Player contracts. Player contracts, you can do one of two things. You can either discard them or keep your bronzers. Keep all your bronzers and sell all your golds because golds do sell. So that's another way of making money. You can say you only use bronze player contracts, sell gold for 200. Okay? And it'll just... Oh, I'm going to get locked out. Fantastic. This is the downside of training. Like even though I've been playing, um, you know, since is it 2011 when foot started, I still have to do all this and um, log in and put elephants or whatever it is this year, giraffes or something, gazelles, upside down, and verify everything constantly. So I've got verify a little possumy rat type thing, whatever it is. You can play a game with yourself for this as well. See, see if you can beat your high score. <laughs> so, we're back in again. So, I think we've got some... Oh, no. We must have done it all. Okay. So, we move forward. So, yeah, with the suitors, save them. If you want to, you can sell them. Uh, this guy, surprisingly, with only one of them, that is listed at 200, but he's at 43 minutes and he's not sold. Uh, Japanese player not selling at the minute. Oh yeah, so with your um, your contracts, if you you'll probably have thousands of them. So just keep the bronze ones and sell all your gold ones at two hundred. Buy it now, and you know you might have to apply two contracts instead of one. However, it's just coins because that's one of the goals that you want to be doing. And eventually, you want to get rid of all your tradable cards in your team. And you want them all untradeable because if you've got, so I've got a left back who I bought for 60k at minute. Now, if a compatible SBC comes out, I'll be able to use the fodder in my squad, in my club, for it because I've saved all my packs. I'm not just wasting cards. I'll be able to use all the fodder, and then that's 60k back on top of that, and then also all of a sudden, and I'm near 2.2 million. Okay. So, it goes up. Well, this is a slow burn process. So, you want to get your your transfer list to 100 items of items that will sell. So, this guy, 1.4, look. So, we'll get him up. Don't be scared of undercutting, because at the end of the day, the quicker they're selling, the quicker you can relist. I doubt this guy goes anywhere. So, these have been... Pretty stinky pack ball so far. Partial to a coin. I won't drop if below 2.1. There's another Suda card. Which I can sell at the minute as I don't need low rateds, I need high rateds. He's not going to sell. I hate it with keepers. There's nothing more wounding than when you get just a pack full of keepers and they're just not going to sell. 
Okay. So, so far, sold one, so I'm really selling this Tiana. Do one more. I ideally wanted a rare card, and I've not pulled one yet. And I'll show you why and what I'm going to do to, to make more coins. If I can. Oops, he's not going to sell for that much. A friend of mine just lists everything at 10,000 coins and you get you get lazy buyers or people that are following guides off footbin and every now and again you'll get players that disappear for so that was a good pack I'll make 600 coins plus discard off this one so you you, you get the gist how it works but yeah as I was saying my mate will he'll list everything at 10,000 I'll do one more just so we're up there okay another suit of card don't think I'm going to get a rare player though, which is what I wanted to show you. Uh, so he will sell. No need to put him in my club, and he's fairly low, low rated, so I don't need him at the minute. Okay, and then we'll get rid of this, and he's not going to sell being Polish. Right, okay, so that's what you want to do. Um, list, of, list all your players that will sell. Okay, uh, list player contracts for 200, like you can see here, they'll, they'll go, especially at the weekend, and then all these players will go. So every full transfer list, I mean, you get the players that you'll sell for 1,000 coins and things like that, but every full transfer list is 20,000 coins, and it doesn't cost you that much to list it. Now, to make more money, what you want to do, and you might not look at it, is firstly, I'll show you the... These two here, look, I'm nearly complete. Pseudo Americana and Lib. I've done these without costing anything from saving the coins. So all them cheap Pseudo Americana coin cards that you got, pop it in. Okay, I mean, I ain't got, they're all fairly low rated. I need a 69 rated squad here. However, I've pulled a couple. So I can just fill these gaps in with a higher rated one. It might cost me 3,000 coins to do. However, I'm going to get the pack back from it. But when you're saving them in the first run, all these ones here, you can do just by saving the pseudo cards. Because they're not really worth anything. They're the discard, the 200. So you've got two options. You can either pop them in, sell them, and take all the coins, or... You can pop them into here, and I've pulled a couple of these at the West Brom Silvers um, that sell for like 18,000 instantly. So that's where you start getting big money. Now, I didn't pull any um, as such. I'll do one more pack because we've sold three more. So, I mean, let's say it's all steady, it's all drip feeding. And if an SBC comes out, nah, I, didn't get a, I didn't get a rare again, but I'll show, I'll show you why I wanted a rare. Now, with your rares, if you do get one, check its price first. Now, if you've got something that's selling at 2,000 coins, you keep it. However, if it's not selling, send it to your club, and then we'll show you how to make more coins. Now, I've already done all these, I think. So the next thing you want to do, which you've probably not done, is pop over to your icons. Uh, I've done all mine. There's only three. Uh, I'll drop onto Michael Owen, though. So all your rare bronzers now that are discard you drop into this one. So it needs 11 bronze rares and it gets you a small silver player's pack or something. Them silvers will sell more than what them rares are worth. Okay. So what I should have shown you before is the upgrade. So you saw me sending all them players and you're thinking, well, why are you sending all these? All right, you do your upgrade. Okay. Now, the beauty of the minute is you've got some silver star players that are silver in packs so you've got a chance of um of pulling one or the other and you know over time you'll find that yeah i don't think i'll be able to do one yeah but you'll get all this ramble in your club okay we can do another one so you can fill it out with ramble Ah, okay, so you've got a chance of pulling a silver player out of these silver packs as well, or some of them. The other thing that you've got is some silvers are ridiculously expensive. 
Okay, so when it comes to the silver player foundations or whatever it were, where you've got to score, have a team of 11 silvers and do this on the other or the icon swaps, you're getting higher rated silvers for free. You don't have to spend 30,000 coins on a silver player because you're already getting... Now, I've got... If I drop into my squad, I've got a silver open. Now, it's not fantastic, but I've got a more than capable silver team to do silver stars... Um, milestones, any objectives, icon swaps. This this will this will do fine for me, and it's all first owner. Now, what you do with rest of your silvers? So, again, I'm not sure how many I've got. Only do commons, which I haven't got enough of. Um, but you upgrade these because I've been spamming the 81 uh, player picks. You do your silvers and get some commons into your club. Now, with the rares. You want to go back to Icon, uh, Michael Owen, do this one, so use Squad Builder, Rarity, um, Build, now take out any players that you're using and fill the gaps, I mean look at West Brom, so he's, he's an untradeable, but he'd have been perfect if you were doing the Premier League SBC. I didn't realise I pulled him, um, so he'd have been well away. So we're on 40 chemistry, so I need some chem. So if I move him over there, he goes to 46. Um, there's got to be another player somewhere. So what we've got there, we've got Argentine, English, Johnny English. There we go. So I'll bang these in here and I get a jumbo silver pack. Open that up. Okay, and then I've got a tradable silver pack from a load of untradables. So, yeah, he's only 500. So, what does he do? He goes back to my club. But again, you can sell him if you want. This guy, 700. I'll sell him. Why not? But these, all the silvers, like I say, you're making, even if it's not much, you're making more profit all from bronze packs doing this and just taking advantage of little little things that you might overlook where you think well I don't want a Michael Owen yeah you don't want a Michael Owen he's no, he's no good for you and he's no good for anybody else however he's actually not bad to be fair it's prime icon moments when that comes around decent however from you saving all them coins where you were thinking well hang on Andy you've not made any You've not made anything. You're putting everything back in your back in your club. Well, yeah, you're right. But now, look, I've just made. I mean, again, not the best pack, but all the. If you wanted to, you could sell all the contracts. Um, this kit, look, that's gonna sell. That'll be going on, so I'll save that. And I wouldn't have thought about it. So that kit now becomes more profitable than everything else that I've done. It's a kit. Uh, these are selling for three thousand. I'll not. I'll sell it for two thousand. Because I'm not greedy, I want the quick sell. Can't admit it because I've got my uh, transfer list full. So that's how you make money from the bronze pack method. And that's why it's still the best. Unless you're an absolute investor and you want the patience game, this is why. So just to break it down again, you want about... I mean, I did it last year from 400 coins left in my uh, balance around Christmas time. So I'd get it a go. I bought one bronze pack. And I sold it. I got lucky. I sold one card for like a thousand, and then rest of them were two hundred, four hundred. So all, and then I could buy three packs. So then I bought my three packs, and then I went up to about six thousand coins. And then I, so that six thousand coins, I went up, and I ended up. So I didn't have much to start with, but I filled my list out hundred. And then when that had gone, I had twenty thousand coins. I'm like, oh, that's good, twenty thousand coins. And I think I had Griezmann. I can't remember, I had somebody in centre mid. Might have been De Jong, De Jong's normal card. He was selling fairly expensive. So, and then all of a sudden, Footmas Modric come out. So I did the SBC for nothing, because I had these players in my squad. And then I did Footmas Modric. So then I got 20,000 coins back from De Jong or whoever it was in midfield. 
and then I had Griezmann at Cam, and then somebody else come out. So I bought that. I did that player with SBCs, and then I got thirty k back from Griezmann. So it chucked my coins up even further. All the more while doing the bronze pack method. Now I know I've rambled a little bit, but just to break it down, so you got your coins. 400 coins, 40,000 coins, 400,000 coins, 4 million coins. It doesn't matter. You're always going to make money. So, first thing you do, buy your bronze pack. Okay. List anything that's selling and will sell, whether it's 200 coins or 2,000 coins. It doesn't matter. Sell them. Anything that's not, send to your club. If you want to save... A particular league like CSL, Suda Merit Sudas, I'd recommend saving unless they're selling for three, four thousand, which some of them do. Save them. Um, any any Rammel, put in your club. Rares, again, if they're selling for an extortionate amount, sell them. If not, put them in your club. Once you've got a couple of hours behind you, then you want to go into your SBCs. Do your bronze upgrades first. So bronze, use squad builder, common, only common bronzes. Chuck them in. You should have enough to do all this. Once you haven't, I mean, I'll have more bronzes. Fill out the, fill the gaps out with Rammel. So if I go in, I don't know how many bronzes I've got because I've been doing this all the time. Um, but what you can do as well, you can use squad builder, fill by nation. So like, there's, I've got a lot of Germans by the looks of things, you'll also have a lot of Koreans, Argentinians, I mean, more Irish looks, so if I pop it in, um, you know, these will boost your commentary, you can even do it with keepers, do that, get your silvers, once you've got the silvers, put the silvers into the silver upgrade, again, only common silvers, okay, once you've done that, check your leagues, so if you're saving for a league, go for all the leagues, if not, do your suitor, go up, Start at the bottom, make sure that you're not putting any stupidly high players in, fill these out, sell all the packs from these for even more profit. Once you've done that and you've got a load of rare, you'll have a load of rare silvers then, drop onto your icons. So again, there's not many at the moment. Do the rare bronzes and rare silvers ones more profit. Okay, and that's it, guys. Um, so I know I've waffled a little bit, but. If you've got time and you're bored, you can keep going. And then, as I say, once you've done your silver upgrades and your common upgrades, um, you know, any gold packs you get, again, either save the players for an SBC because it's like, say, PK at one point was like 12,000 coins. He's up to about 30 now or whatever it is. You know, so if a player drops, I don't know what SBC is on at the minute, say you wanted this guy you need an 85 rated player, you're paying double the odds of what you were anyway. So, again, you can either profit on that if you don't want this guy, or next week, Ronaldo might drop again, as or Messi or a Neymar or something might drop. So, you've got that player and you've saved yourself 30,000 coins. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to leave this as it is now. I've waffled on more than enough. Uh, if you've got any questions, pop them down below. I'm going to do another video on the most effective tactic available, uh, either later or tomorrow. And that's going to be personalised to you, every single one of you that watches this, which are granted is not many. Um, but again, the more active you are, the more active I'll become. And if it's worth the effort, then I'll be back with it. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, that That's how to work your bronze packs. Um, granted my list is in a bit of a mess at the minute but as these tick down more and more will sell you've seen the coins, you've seen the squad um, pop your questions down below like, comment, subscribe and like I say if there's any questions pop it down below and I'll get straight back to you but until then I'm going to get up to the shop get me some dinner on, spend some time with the little dudes and uh, we'll see you a little bit later on peace and love to everybody who's watching